Okay, this will be our last uh, teaching for tonight, but uh, uh, I want to wrap it up tonight with uh, just just talking about the another reason for the uh, pre-tribulation rapture and why it must the rapture must happen uh, before the uh, tribulation period or Jacob's trouble. And uh, you know, there's a lot of people uh, people that uh, attack the the rapture. Uh, in fact, let me just say this: if you don't, if if you make comments or statements like "there is no rapture" or "the rapture is a lie," you know you better be really careful because you're you're actually s saying that the word, the scriptures, that uh, that Yahusha is a liar. You're saying the Apostle Paul is a liar. You're saying that the word of Yahuwah is is a lie when you declare those kind of statements. Because if you do any kind of research or study, you'll see that it's all in the scriptures. And so now that you might have an opinion or may think that the rapture may not happen at the beginning of the tribulation and that may be a different situation and that may be be uh, blinded because of things that you've been taught in the past or maybe because you have misinterpreted certain scriptures. But to sit there and d flat deny that there's a rapture or call it a made up doctrine and all these kind of things, you know, people that do that, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm convinced that in myself that these are people who don't do not know Yahuwah they do not they have not been born again they do not have the Ruach or the Spirit in them for, to make statements like that and um, and most people who do that I think they that the, the reason they say these things is because they realize they're not ready for an event that we're describing to them and they don't want to face the reality that they are sinners and that they need a savior and uh, so um, I know the, the devil or Shaitan hates this message of the rapture probably more than any other doctrine of the church that's taught simply because you know of of the the intended message that is to convey comfort to you to Yahuwah's children to the bride of the Mashiach to bring comfort and hope to us and so you know he he doesn't like it he doesn't like it at all and uh, so I, I would be real careful about who that I'm siding in on. You know, are you are you are you uh, holding on to the truth of the word of Yahuwah? Are you siding in with the enemy, and are you being deceived in what you believe? So there's there's a lot of reasons that the the rapture has to happen or occur before the tribulation period, uh, and there's there's an, one of the other reasons that I've mentioned briefly, but talked about the fact is that. Uh, we the church itself has no destiny on earth our home our citizenship is in heaven the, the scripture says in Philippians chapter 3 the Apostle Paul said for our citizenship in he is in heaven from whence we also look for the Savior Yahushua HaMashiach and so you know that's that's our our pl our home is in heaven not here on the earth now even even with the fact that we'll be coming back with Yahushua at the end of the tribulation to rule and reign with him in the millennial reign of the Messiah our home won't be here on the earth our home is the New Jerusalem if you read in the book of Revelation you'll see that that uh, only those whose names are written in the Lamb's book of life will be allowed to enter into the New Jerusalem and these people have to be resurrected saints uh, without spot or without wrinkle because that's what will happen when we are re are we finally our redemption is complete that our bodies will be uh, we'll no longer have the dictates of sin in the flesh but that it will we will be totally without s sin in our flesh our in this realm of the Ruach we are already that way Yahuwah sees us in the realm of the Ruach as being righteous and as holy as he is because it's his righteousness that we stand in now this probably to me is one of the biggest reasons why people have a have a hard time understanding or believing um, that we will not the church will not have to go through the tribulation is because they don't see themselves as righteous they still see themselves as you know in fact their concept I think of salvation is is that they're just forgiven see if, if your idea of salvation is that you're just a forgiven sinner and that's that's all that's really happened then you even though that does apply that we're forgiven but we also have redemption Ephesians chapter 1 verse 7 says in whom we have redemption even the forgiveness of sins 
See, we have redemption, meaning that we the price has been paid to buy us back to redeem us, and uh, the 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 uh, the first part of, of of our redemption has taken place the moment that you put faith and trust in the Messiah. We become partakers of Yahuwah's nature. Second Peter chapter one verses three and four says the Apostle Peter writing says that we have become partakers of the divine nature. <laughs> divine means Yahuwah's nature. It's we partaken of His nature. Now that happened not not when we get to heaven, but it's already happened. It's it's happened because in the realm of the spirit we have His ruach. We have His spirit. And so when you begin to understand that. When the, talk, the scripture talks about us being righteous, you know, you're not righteous in yourself. Your, your righteousness is in him. And so he has made him to be sin for us. 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 20, 21 says, For he has made him to be sin for us, talking about Yahushua, who knew no sin, that we might be made the righteousness of Yahuwah in him. In other words, that, we might, uh, that he might impart his righteousness to us and so we stand in his righteousness. Now, and I've made this statement before, you're, you're as righteous as you'll ever be the moment that you truly believe and the Ruach is given to you. And you can't change that. Now, you, now you, you, you're not, when I say you're righteous, I'm not saying that you're perfect and that you always do things perfect and that you never sin we, because we still are in this fallen state, in this flesh of ours that still hasn't experienced its redemption. It still is in its fallen uh, nature and if you allow your flesh, it will lead you into sin. The works of the flesh are described in Galatians chapter 5. You know, it talks about the works of the flesh are uh, fornication, adultery, um, lasciviousness. You know, all these things are listed in, in there about the works of the flesh. And so our flesh hasn't been redeemed yet. So if you allow your flesh, even though you may still be righteous, if you allow your flesh to sin, it will still sin. But you're still righteous because you're, it's not your righteousness that's going to that Yahuwah is looking at. He's looking at his righteousness that he's imparted to you. As the scripture says, blessed is the man unto whom Yahuwah will not impute sin. Now that word impute means to hold it against you and I. He's forgiven us of our sins past, present, and future. I'll continue this on our next session. So until then, shalom.